I am Associate Director of Research and Evaluation in the Teaching and Learning Lab, to those of you who don't know me. Uh, you, if you're new to Data Talks in the second year, this is our second Data Talks event this fall. If you um, met with us last time in September, uh, you would have heard us say that we're now on a every other month schedule for the Data Talks uh, events. So we had one in September, we have had one now in November, and we anticipate our next to be held in early next year via Zoom. But you can check our website um, at uh, datatalks.com. MIT.edu, excuse me, uh, for, for more event, uh, for more information on when that actually comes up. Also, I want to uh, just say that last month we had our inaugural Data Dialogues event, uh, a series that is intended to build community among the data professional uh, community uh, and at, at, at MIT. And uh, we've decided, we've not yet decided, excuse me, whether we'll be hosting one in December due to the crunch and the end of the calendar year. It may be held uh, in, in, in February, if not in December. So again, please check our website for more information when that information becomes available. So without further ado, today we are pleased to host Beth Prince Bradbury from Rochester Institute of Technology. And Beth today, uh, as you can see from her title, she is going to be uh, introducing you to the data literacy continuum. She's going to discuss how it maps onto Bloom's taxonomy. And she's also going to explain how you can use this information to aid you and your data teams. So I don't want to take up any more time. Take it away, Beth. Thank you, Melissa, for having me here today. I'm really excited to be here uh, with everybody for the next uh, 30, 45 minutes to talk a little bit about leading with data. It's a beautiful fall day here in Rochester, New York. So uh, it, it's a good day for talking about data and uh, the data divides and how we overcome those as data citizens. Let's just first touch quickly on the learning outcomes that we have planned for today. Echoing again what Melissa mentioned, we're gonna begin by understanding a bit about the data literacy continuum and how to recognize where people are on the continuum. And then we're going to talk a bit about learning how to support and empower others in their progression along the continuum. 